Here's some books I've read recently. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got for you a recent reads. So these are some books that I have read lately. Uh, there's four of them on here. One of them I'm going to discuss at the end. It's something that I, I'm not necessarily saying DNF, but it's something I'm not going to finish. So technically I finished three books, but I started reading four of them. Um, but yeah, let me hop into them. Uh, if you like stuff like this, don't forget to drop a like or comment some stuff you've been reading recently. Also, don't forget to check out the podcast that comes out every Monday. And all the books I'm going to talk about will also be linked down below. Also, don't forget, forget about Instagram. Uh, if you want to be part of like voting and stuff like that, we kind of do that every now and again on our channel. We'll have that down below as well. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hop into this. All right, the first book I'm going to talk about is The Shuddering by Anya Alborn. So I read Brother by Anya Alborn, and I gave that, I think it was five stars. Check out the Goodreads, also down below. There's a lot of stuff down below. Just check out everything down below. But this got five stars. Brother got five stars. Uh, I really enjoyed that book. It was gripping. It was exciting. It was really cool. Uh, so I decided to read The Shuddering, which is also by Annie Alborn. And this also got five stars for me. So a lot of people said that this was something that they'd either give four stars or they... Nobody really quite gave it five stars by some of the things I've seen and what people have said. Um, a lot of it had to do, I think, with the ending, um, as well as um, something happening to... I I'm really not trying to spoil this book, because I think... I, I just don't want to spoil the book for you guys. So, it ke it goes pretty quick in terms of... You know, because it's almost the same size as Brother, and I felt like Brother like kind of took a while, where this one, it like kind of got in the action quick. Um, the first couple of chapters you're being told in like two different perspectives. There's the perspective of like the past and like this mysterious creature like haunting a family in the woods. Um, and then present where you have four friends who go to this cabin in the woods. Um, I don't think they ever really explain the time difference between the two time periods. But it's still a really solid book. I enjoyed it. The ending... It, it's kind of like one of those Dark Tower endings. It's either you love to hate it or you hate to love it. And I I just, I thought it was fun and I really enjoyed it. Um, it kind of sets up more possibilities. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, so there's four friends. They go up to this cabin in the winter and they're terrorized by, I think it's a, like it's more than one. Um, but it's like a group of creatures that are kind of like wolf people. This kind of gave me the vibes of Dog Soldiers. I don't know if you, anyone has seen that movie. It's a very old, it's an older movie. It's got Christopher Eccleston in it, which he was the 10th Doctor in Doctor Who. Um, he plays like this soldier guy and like they get attacked by like these weird like wolf dog hybrid things. And that's what I kind of pictured was going on in this book. Like those kind of creatures attacking these four friends. So it's kind of like a survival story. Not everyone makes it, but Again, that end just kind of, that ending was really solid. I really liked the ending. So I gave this five stars as well. Very good book. I really recommend this. And uh, there you have The Shuttering by Anya Alborn. All right, the next book I'm going to talk about is The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth. It's a book that we do not own, uh, but here's an image of it if you want to take a look at it. This book is going to be released on April 13th, which is Tuesday. And depending on when this video goes up, that's either tomorrow today or yesterday. I'm not sure yet. So this was a book I decided to read because it was like a Danielle suggestion and it was more of like a thriller pick than it was like a horror pick. And I gotta tell you this book was really good. Um, Danielle gave it four stars and just because they had to one up her I gave it four and a half. It was a really solid book. It was these two twins that are growing up and like one perspective is current time with Fern and then you're getting like Rose's perspective like in diary entries um, and Fern is to be like let on pretty much let on to believe that she did this really bad thing in the past and why she can't like trust herself with certain things and she meets this guy who she calls Wally but I think his actual name is Rocco if that's correct I think his name is Rocco they kinda have a connection 
Um, they end up kind of dating. I don't think they really make it official. They do it once or twice. Um, I don't know if that solidifies dating or not, but uh, they end up, you know, getting really close and the whole time that she is seeing him, Rose is secretly telling her like, you know, I can't have a kid with Owen and I want to have a kid. And so what's, um, Fern decides, you know, maybe I'll let Wally impregnate me and then I'll give the baby to Rose. Then a lot of bad things kind of start happening in the book. You get really good twists that happen and I absolutely loved it. And you know, the whole twin aspect, I thought that was going to be played more on, but I think they said that there were really, like, substantial differences. Like, one was taller, one had different hair color, but they were, I think, fraternal twins. But, yeah, when the diary entries, you kind of see that, like, you know, Rose is picked on a lot, and Fern is, like, the good daughter. And then the end happens, and you kind of, you know, you get, you get the truth, and... It's very dark, very twisted. I really recommend this book. I gave it four and a half stars. Didn't quite hit the five star mark for me. Just because I wish I could have saw something happen more with like the whole sister aspect. And I don't know. Four and a half, really good book. And that is The Good Sister. All right. The third book I read is Gerald's Game by Stephen King. I finally read the book. Uh, it's... So, initially, this and Dolores Claiborne are supposed to be, like, one book combined, or this was supposed to be a direct sequel to Dolores Claiborne. I don't know the whole entire facts on that, but I had heard somewhere that this and Dolores were supposed to be the same type of book. Um, they t reference the same eclipse that happens, and the same, like, map in the front of this book is the same map that's in the front of Dolores Claiborne. Um... I'm going to give this three and a half stars, pretty much exactly what I did with Dolores Claiborne. I might have gave Dolores four, but I like that story a little better. Um, so this follows a girl named Jessie who gets handcuffed to a bed, and, you know, her husband, Gerald, is supposed to be, you know, supposed to be some, like, hot romantic weekend. Turns to pure hell because she, like, roundhouse kicks him in the nuts while she's handcuffed, and that pretty much killed him. Um, he suffers a heart attack, I think, is what it ended up being falls off the bed, and she's stuck being handcuffed to a bed. And uh, it literally would take Stephen King to be able to take a story like that and turn it into some, like, 300-page book. Because, I, I mean, you get clips from the past. One of the big reasons why it's only three and a half stars is because there are some certain scenes at, you know, kind of like the midway point when she's referencing herself as a 10-year-old watching the lunar eclipse. I don't know if there's a lunar or solar, I'm sorry. Um... But with her father, and the dad is, like, really on hands with her, if you know what I'm saying. Um, kind of gets a little uncomfortable, um, just as a, as a forewarning, if that's something that, you know, upsets you or traumatizes you. Maybe this is not the book for you, because it was something that was, like, kind of, like, really pissing me off when I was reading it. Um... But overall, it was all right. Three and a half stars. And I gotta say, it's not that often when Gerald, when Stephen King is like the lower rank of a reading vlog for me with other books. Doesn't happen often, so I'm surprised this one did happen. But yeah, Gerald's Game, three and a half stars. Not the worst, but not the best. So, Gerald's Game. And the last book that I, well, I started to read. Uh, which, by the way, all these books were on my April TBR, so I'm following my April TBR pretty well. Yay! Let's see if I can keep it going. Um, is The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. So, at first, when I read The Inside, it kind of is more... I don't know. When I read... I don't know. I thought this was going to be more, like, younger people. And it's, like... The people who are involved with this murder club are all, like, over 70, over 80. I, it just hasn't been catching on for me right now. Um, it's maybe a book I might pick up later, but I only really got to chapter 20, which is page 69. Um, I, I don't know. It's something that I'm going to put down for now, and I might pick it up later. Um, I don't know when, but I'm not fully DNFing the book because I know that it was really hyped and Danielle's been telling me to read it for a while. She's heard good things about it. And I I don't know. 
As of right now, it's just not hitting home for me. So I'm going to put it on hold for right now. Uh, I honestly don't remember any character names. That's just how it's not been hitting for me. So, But yeah, Thursday Murder Club started. Not finishing for April. Maybe we'll pick it up later. All right, so these are some of my recent reads. Also, The Good Sisters. Um, good Sister. So, I enjoyed this. This one, whatever. But everything else is, was all right and pretty solid. So, what are some recent reads you've had lately? Let me know in the comments down below. What are you interested in picking up soon? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, this was fun. I really enjoyed it. All these books will be linked down below if you want to check them out. Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.